Hey guys, it's Mitzi from Always Three Travels and welcome back to my channel. To any newcomers, welcome. Thank you for visiting. And just a reminder to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell so you can be notified of my new videos. Today, I'm bringing you two reviews on two ports, Palma de Mallorca, Spain, and Marseille's France. I was lucky enough to visit these ports while I was on Wonder of the Seas, departing from Barcelona. So our first stop is Palma de Mallorca. We wanted to really keep it low key, so we decided to go into town on our own. When we arrived in the port, there is a taxi line right outside. You did, there was a line, it was early, it was about 9 a.m. There were not a lot of taxis waiting. The taxis that you see lined up here were specifically for tours. So I was approached by a woman at the port trying to sell me a tour to go to the beach. She wanted to charge me 220 euros to take us to the beach to wait for two and a half hours and bring us back to the ship. I thought that was ridiculous. There was no way I was going to pay $220 to go to the beach. She told me that there were no taxis because there were so many tourists on the island. I took my chances. I waited in line. I waited about 15 minutes, grabbed the taxi and went into town. The taxi cost me about $20, $25. The taxi dropped me off in front of this hotel. The beach that we decided to go to was Cala Mayor. It was the closest beach to the port. I did not want to be too far away just in case we had to walk back to the port. It was a walkable distance. But again, I didn't want to take my chances just in case what she said was right. So the taxi will leave you right here in front of this hotel. To the left, there will be a store. We were very ill prepared. I think the only thing we really had with us was sunscreen. So we had to go in here and pick up some water, of, car, of course, and some towels. Reasonably priced. I think the towels were about 15 euros. Buy your water here. For a liter of water, it cost about a dollar, well, one one eighty. So less than two euros for some water. Where on the beach, they probably wanted to charge me maybe like three euros for maybe 16 ounces of water. So visit um, this store if you forgot anything and you, that you need for the beach. Then to your right, you'll see a walkway. So you'll walk straight down the walkway. Again, the beach is Cala Majon. Guys, this is a semi-nudist beach. So if you have young children, please take it as a, a warning. Um, it was only women that were, that were topless. There were kids that did not have bathing suits. I did not see any men that were naked, but there were women and young women and older women that were topless at this beach. The view is just magnificent. At this restaurant, if you need free Wi-Fi, you can grab free Wi-Fi from them. And then there is a little shack where you can rent the umbrella and the lounge chairs. Again, we were very ill-prepared. We just decided to sit on the sand and enjoy the sun. The water is super clear. It looks like you're in a pool. It's beautiful. We stayed here for a couple of hours, walked back up to the main street, not where they dropped us off, but up to the main street. And we did a little bit of shopping, walked a little bit, and then grabbed the taxi back to the port. So... Palma de Mallorca, I would say, is definitely, if you don't decide to do an excursion, at least go into town, visit this beach. You will not regret it. It was relaxing. It was beautiful. You won't regret it. So our next stop is going to be Marseille's France. 
Again, here we decided to kind of do our own thing. We went into the port terminal. It was extremely clean. Everything was nicely um, sectioned off. You knew where to go. So you step outside. There is a section for the excursions and the shuttle bus. And there's also somewhere outside to pick up a taxi. Again, there's a line. I think we waited about 20 minutes and they dropped us off close to the center of town, but right kind of on the outskirts. And we walked along the marina. It costs approximately 40 euros, including tip for the taxi. Um, it was a beautiful day. It was hot, but it was beautiful. We walked along the marina all the way into town. So we found drugstores, we found Starbucks. Definitely there's lots of places to stop and get something to snack on or to eat. There's a lot of shopping to be done as well. Once you reach this church, if you go straight further down, you'll see on the right side that those are all restaurants. So restaurants next door to each other. And across the street in the white tents, those are like, they sell souvenirs. So we bought souvenirs, t-shirts. We bought herbs from France, which were great. We decided to walk back into town and buy some macaroons at La Petitere de Marcel's. Yeah, my French is bad, but I tried. The macarons were amazing. So it was very congested. We did have to walk a little bit until we found a taxi, but it was, we took it along the same strip right there in the marina. Um, it's very congested, so you have to be careful as you're crossing the street. Um, they're very aggressive drivers. Overall, we spent a few hours in town. We did some shopping. Side note on the shopping, if you're doing clothes shopping, a lot of the small um, clothing stores do not cater to curvy women. They do, they do cater to the more slender women. So ladies, if you're curvy, do not be discouraged. They just don't cater to, to us. So guys, I would definitely recommend checking out Marseille's check it out on your own if not do a tour from the ship I love the Hollywood sign that says Marseille's I thought that was very cute so guys that's it do your own thing when you go into these two ports they're beautiful there's so much to see you won't regret it thank you so much for your time and as always travel safe travel well, travel often. Till next time.